illustrated in the MMQB, Matt Ryan become the first quarterback in the NFL to lose to 31 different teams. This is honestly insane. Week 2, the Jaguars. Week 6, the Jaguars. And Week 10, the Raiders. I'm sure Tom Brady's pretty close to being every team in the NFL. To lose to every team in the NFL is honestly insane. But overall, do you think he's going to have this? He's going to play the Jaguars twice, and there's a very good chance he's probably going to win one as a revenge game. Overall, they said that was some sort of a revenge game. I don't know about that. But they actually have to play him twice, which... I don't know. Do you think he's going to beat him twice? And then the Raiders. Honestly, I don't really see them winning that game either. And I think the Colts are going to suffer loss in that game. To illustrate in the MMQB, I've always had faith in my ability to be one of the best quarterbacks in the league. And definitely one of the best 32 quarterbacks in the world, Jameis Winston. Honestly, I agree. He's at least top 15, top 20, somewhere around there. He's definitely an underrated quarterback. And I think they have a great year this year. They got Chris Olave. I think that'll definitely help overall for them. And really help the team. Michael Thomas is returning. Alvin Kamara will be healthy. Overall, I think the Saints are just having a great overall year. And there could be a sleeper team to maybe beat the Bucks in their division. Honestly, that would be very impressive in the NFC South. But what do you think? SPN and Sports Center, the Celtics Revenge Tour. So in 2019, they lost to Milwaukee. 2020, they lost to Miami. In 2021, they lost to Brooklyn. 2022, they beat Brooklyn. They beat Milwaukee and Miami. Now they're on the road to the championship. This is honestly very impressive. And what do you think about this? Center and ESPN, this is honestly the finals is decided. It's the Warriors versus the Celtics. Honestly, made great overall series. Two really very big franchises going against each other. Honestly, I think the Warriors are going to win this game with series in six games. I feel like they've heard all the noise overall about really people doubting them, saying that they're not going to be a dynasty once Kevin Durant left. Really just not listening to haters in general. Overall, I think everyone on the Warriors has a lot to prove, especially Clay Thompson after the injury. I feel like a lot of people have been doubting him. And same with Steph, I feel like a lot of people have been doubting him overall. And I think Steph's motivated. If he if he does win this finals and a finals MVP, he has a very good chance of propelling him to the top 10 of all time. Do you agree that he'll be a top 10? Comment down below, yes or no. But who are you picking and how many games do you think they win? I saw a lot of people saying Celtics and whatever, which you really shouldn't jump to that conclusion too early just because overall they barely beat the Heat in the last game. So that's going to be a very tough matchup for them. The Warriors are going to be well-rested by that game. It's going to be a great overall game series to watch. And who do you pick? The first game's on Thursday. Honestly, game one's going to be very entertaining. And are you going to be watching it? NBA ESPN, Jimmy Butler didn't rest a single minute in game seven. 48 minutes, 35 points. Honestly, impressive game overall. Not one minute of rest. He played pretty much the whole game. And then game six, he had 47 points and 16 of 9, 29 of field goal. Honestly, he's had an impressive performance. And I think the Miami Heat might need to run their all-star in general. Who do you think they should try to get, and what do you what do you think will be the best trade deal for them? 